Well, good morning, friends. I'm at the very beautiful Golden Bay this morning. Very calm morning, quite sunny. I'm shortly going to be taking a boat across to Olver Island over there to do some bird watching. So, yeah, I've got, got the cameras ready, got the big one, and yeah, it's going to be a beautiful day for it. So, I'm going to spend most of the, most of the day on the island there. There's a short, a short walk, but I'll be spending much of the day doing as much bird watching as possible because. This is a protected reserve. Well, I've arrived here at Post Office Bay, apparently the site of Stuart Island's first post office. And from here I'm going to be exploring the island. My main camera I'm using today will be this one. And I'm using my, my fairly new uh, Sigma 150-600mm um, telephoto lens. And I know a couple of you have actually been specifically asking me about this lens. So they're all pretty short walks, but I'm going to be pre spending pretty much all day today out here. I've now reached Boulder Beach and there's a couple of, a couple of weeks of here foraging the beach. So I've found so far this, this lens is very good for places like out here. Hello. The birds here are very friendly. Quite challenging using this in the bush because this, the vegetation is incredibly thick. It kind of explains why yeah, the birds here in New Zealand either evolved to be completely flightless or that they're really small because the bush is really dense. Because the bush is so dense, it's quite difficult to focus on the on the birds. Whereas out here, I'm getting some really good shots. And yeah, earlier com coming across, I got some it's got some penguins as well. So. Yeah, I find this lens is very good, very good out in the open, not so good for the bush. And I find in the bush some of the birds come really close and yeah this, this lens only sort of can focus yeah sort of beyond about two meters. So I'm actually using yeah this camera and smaller lens quite a lot, uh, a lot more than what I expected in the in the bush. theory. If you want to judge how fast someone's going to go when they're hiking, look at the size of their camera. So I've got all this stuff today and I'm progressing probably about three or four hundred metres an hour. So if you're one of, these, one of these people who likes to hike really quickly, definitely don't take me, especially when I'm carrying these massive cameras getting quite a massive workout here. This is pretty good good four or five kilo. And so to be holding this for yeah a good six, seven hours as I will be today. Yeah. So the setup I'm using yeah I've got my full 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 frame 6D with with the big lens on it for long distance shooting. I'm getting some really good 
shots even up to about 100 metres away so long as we've got reasonably clear forest. But as you can see here, this bush really is very dense, so it's a matter of finding sort of you know, holes in the forest. And then the, the, the little set, the old 70D here, with, with its microphone. I'm using this one for the video because, mainly because, yeah, this has got such a, a long range that even the slightest movement will will produce a very shaky sort of video so I'm just, just doing video on widescreen and also for the wider shots and also for the close shots because this one doesn't really yeah focus yeah any closer than about two and a half meters so anything closer I'm using this one unfortunately it's gone overcast now which is very good for the photography because the the contrast isn't so great, yeah, especially yeah for, for both wide angle and and bird photography. So yeah, the conditions are really ideal now. Right, the sea lion down here. Not so sure his species is as well. I'll see him look it up. And having a rest on the beach. Back at the post office cove near the wharf, uh, the boat will be coming very soon. It might even be up near. Uh, this is our boarding pass. Very interesting. So, yep. So it's just a matter of waiting for the boat and going on board. <laughs> 